Hi, how are you today? Oh, I am Sandy with Santi's Vintage Home Decor and Treasures. And the dogs just heard me talk and they thought maybe somebody was here that was going to be the enemy. And they had to make sure that everything was on the up and up. So I've got some um, home decor that I want to share on this video. Um, a lot of times I show my clothing that I get, um, the jewelry that I do have, and I'll be listing some of that today on eBay, as well as home decor. So I will get started because my camera will only let me go for 30 minutes. So if for some reason it cuts off, I will just tar put in a part two and just continue, but hopefully we can get through this. First of all, I want to show you a few things that I got. This is going to go to my booth. Look how ornate. I didn't even do anything with this. It was like so pretty that it's like I am leaving it like that. Little planter box. Very cute. And that'll be in my booth. We're doing furniture right now. I wish y'all could see these chairs over here. They are just so pretty. Um... Maybe as I move stuff, you can see them. I'm painting them a pale yellow because they've got a um, mosaic uh, across it of yellow and blue. has some people on it and stuff. Then on the uh, different parts of the chair, I am going to stencil some little blue flowers. Okay, here are my next little planters. They are going to be sold as the pair. These were the ugliest things you've ever seen in your life. Um, they were like this white, ugly white, just, yeah. So I painted them a green color, and then I white waxed over them and buffed them. And then I put the flowers in them. And I will be selling that as a pair in my booth. And I found, now look at this. I found an old clothes hanger. Can you see this? It is wire, heavy, heavy wire, and it has a wood um, where you can hang your pants. But this is, I, I haven't researched on how much, how old this is, but it has to be pretty old. I'd say probably maybe 1950s or so. And I'm going to put that in my booth and hang a couple of towels over that so um, somebody will see that. And I did do this. I made it look to be enamel and put the little bouquet in it. I think it's flower and garden on it. Um, everybody's ready for spring, including me. I hate the weather. Um, my fibromyalgia is going nuts. I've had the uh, roughest four days in my since I've had it. Uh, my, my clothes hurt my skin and feels like little... I don't know, kind of stings when clothes, and then it, it just aches in the certain places. There's 18 different places on your body that they test to see if you do have it. And in those 18 places, probably two of them doesn't hurt. But my shoulders are just horribly hurting today. Um, but I'm taking as much medicine as I can due to my renal failure. So, my fibromyalgia is basically the reason why we are going to, we are planning on moving to Florida um, so that I can not, it is like 22 degrees, it was high yesterday, it was 22. Today is no different, it was snowing earlier, it has ice, we had some sleet and ice, so the roads are slick, sidewalks go slick, and I don't go out unless I have to. My husband brings home any kind of things that I need from the store, so I don't have to get out. Plus, being immunocompromised, I don't get out as much as I have to. So, anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with the haul. Okay, see this? I love it. I mean, it is so popular. I bought it, and then I just realized a while ago, it's like, the lid's missing. Oh, so, it won't bring as much as I um, had hoped it would, but it'll still be okay. Um, this, these are very 
very popular print right now. I think they are so really cute. They're weird. You know, they have the weird shapes, but it is a teapot. It does have the little um, feet on the bottom of it, and it's a Prospero designs. So, very cute. I just wish I had the lid. Um, next, we have this little trinket dish, and it is made in Japan. Really cute, um, very fragile. I don't think it's porcelain. Um, it may be ceramic, but it's it's pretty pretty um, dainty. And the only thing I can read is made in Japan. Um, it has some other things, but I can't read them. Um, so, but then look at this. Everybody has loves cats. There are cat people out there. I thought this was so cute. Look at that. It is a little cat. It doesn't have any markings on it or anything. Little cat on a chair with a blanket over it and very looking very alert. But I thought that was cute. So I know it won't bring much. A lot of uh, the thing about here, I live in Joplin, Missouri. And the thing about here, we are not a prosperous town. Um, so the things that I do get, not a lot of times are marked just because um, it's not a prosperous town at all. They have some manufacturing jobs, but the pay is very low. And so I, you have to um, basically spend your whole check just to be able to live. Okay, I got this. I realize it is a salt pepper shaker, but everybody likes penguins. You don't have to use it, or you could even use it if you use, if you bake, use powdered sugar on it um, to put your stuff. You could put some flour in it if you do bake. You could powder your um, pans so you don't get so much flour in it. So you can use it for different things, but I think the penguin is so cute. So you can see that that is I just I just fell in love with it when I seen it. it has the bottom is has the little stopper in it and then I found this cup and saucer no cracks no chips or anything it's still taped because I didn't I am very very um, clumsy when it comes to things so I just left it taped it doesn't have any markings on it but I think it's sweet you know what you could do? You, um, you could even put like a little succulent plant in it. Be really cute. Um, anyway, or you can do different things with it. Probably won't bring much, but you know, it was a dollar. So I thought, well, why not? We'll try it. Next thing I want to show are puppies. Everybody likes puppies. If you don't like puppies or cats, you like puppies. Look at these little puppies here. They are playing. You've got one that has its rear end sticking up. It's under the blanket back here. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are um, Cocker Spaniel, but they're brown. So I'm not sure on that, but their, their ears look like it. But I do have a cockapoo that she is brown and she has the long ears. Um, so anyway, I uh, didn't pay that much for it, but I thought it was really cute, and I thought somebody would like it. The other thing that is really popular that I have noticed on other people's channels are American flags and everything, especially nowadays. So I found this box that has a little latch here that you can open it. It's very clean inside and out very cute so i thought yeah i'll try that and you know because things do uh you know people like to be known that with the american thing um so i seen that and i thought yeah i'll try that next we have ducks and i am a farmhouse person this is really funny because people say you have what Okay, I have a farmhouse beach theme 
house. Um, I talked about before, nothing is up right now, but everything that I have that goes up on the walls or things, it, it's a lot of beach theme. And then I am bringing into, um, into the stuff is my farmhouse stuff, especially in my kitchen, even though my kitchen is going to um, have some of the beach theme stuff but these are really cute ducks i found these and i thought well somebody look i told you not to do that <laughs> anyway this must be the woman and this must be the guy <laughs> i told you when you did that when you came home i said bring this and you brought that <laughs> God. i am that's embarrassing. I try to, I try, I try to be really serious on here, but I am not a serious person. As I get more comfortable with um, filming, and people to start getting used to me, I you will find that I am very, you know, I'm not a serious person. A lot of times that I like to do things, but anyway, you've got the man and the woman, and then you have this other duck that um okay you gotta stand up here you can't do that okay so she's just looking away like i am so embarrassed like i can't believe them two are doing that these feel like um maybe they are like um it's not a clay like a i don't know it's i don't think it's pottery but it may be, but it's really, it's kind of chalky feeling. Maybe that's the paint they put on it. I'm not going to paint these. I'm going to, I am going to sell as is, even though it is, I don't know. Now that I think of it, maybe I want to paint them because this is not really the best color for them. What if you had ducks that were green? A real pretty green with white wax over it. And I don't know what is up with this guy, but he is like got his head down now and he won't, he won't do anything. He must be feeling really bad about stuff. Anyway, he's like, oh my gosh, there she is again. Oh, okay. So I did find this as well. This is, um, kind of a, a France thing. I love the flowers on it. And I will sell it as is. I can't decide. And maybe if you leave comments. I'm going to stop right now and say, please, I am begging you to please like and subscribe to my channel. I have like 32 people. Um, and I would really like to start growing my channel. Um, so please like and subscribe it. I try to get things that, of different... Um, areas where people might like one thing and maybe not the other and that's fine that's how I am too but one of these days when I am more comfortable with going thrifting I will take you thrifting with me um actually not more comfortable thrifting because man I can thrift all day but more um like having the camera with me uh because it's just kind of um I, you know I don't know what to look at when I look at stuff, I might put it back. And I guess everybody does that. So one of these days, I will start that and have you thrift along with me. Maybe when it can become garage sale times, we can go garage selling together. Um, I do before then, I would like to get a camera that does uh, do more than 30 minutes at a time. Um, this is really cute. I found it. It was on sale because it was Christmas. And I thought it's a heavy, heavy mug. It has the striped and nothing, it, it's not, it's um, just, it's microwave and dishwasher safe. But I thought it was cute and I thought, well, maybe I can do it for Christmas. Um, maybe towards the end of summer, I'll start putting it on. But I just thought that was really cute. And this would be, if I were to keep this, this would be my cup of coffee. Um, and then I have the Redware, I believe it is. It's called um, Indoor Outfitters. 
It's made in Italy and it is Ober and Back Incorporated. It is a blue color. The, it is like a terracotta on the outside. Has a dark blue inside. This cup is attached like for dips or whatever you could put like um, vegetables in it. Um, you could put chips in it. Just different things that you could have. Just make sure to put the spoon in it so there's no double dipping. And anyway, I thought that was really cute. Um, I did pay more for this than I usually do just because I liked it. And I thought it'll sell. And then I found this basket. It's a long, like a bread basket. And I really think it's cute. But it's probably going to get something in it. Um, or I could, I could line it. I could make a lining for it. I don't know if you all know, but I do sew. I've sewed since I was 18 years old. So that's quite some time. And so, I can sew about anything. I have taken up wedding dresses. I have made wedding dresses. I designed and made my wedding dress and hand sewed uh, beads and, and sequins and appliques all down the, on the skirt of it. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I can just about do anything. And one of these days, I will take you along on my sewing adventure. Anyway, this could be a bread basket, and I may just line it with... Um, uh, muslin and put it in there and just call it the bread basket. Okay, now I have not comped this, but I know that this is worth something because it is a fan. I don't know. It's very, very heavy. The bottom is like um, metal, hard metal. I would say almost I iron maybe. Um, I've got to find out the date on it and I need to plug it in. Yes, I'm going to braid myself and plug it in. It'll be okay. But it is a cord, K-O-R-D, and it has the little in the back. It has where you can push it. And um, I seen this. Actually, it was given to me free and she asked if I wanted it and I said, Oh yeah, I couldn't get it out of her hands fast enough because I knew that these do sell. So I am going to comp this. Um, if it is too heavy and the shipping, because I don't like people to pay shipping um, unless they are extremely willing to for whatever it is that I have, I will probably put that in my booth. I will just have to see basically on the weight and how much it'll cost to to um, cost the buyer to pay the shipping. My next little thing is this cute bamboo. I don't know if that is bamboo or not. It's not marked, but it feels like bamboo. And then it has the wrapping here. Then it has what I want to do with this is put dried flowers in it not flowers, the dried, um, like you can get the dried little, they look like weeds and stuff, and you have the spirals. That's what I want to put in here. Um, I may sell this on e uh, eBay, and that way I will put the flowers in it. Um, if the buyer does not want the flowers, they can message me and tell me I don't want the flowers in it and send me the, the basket. But I thought that that was very unique. It has a kind of a asymmetrical because it, it's round up here and it gets bigger and then down here and then it gets smaller. So pretty cool. My next thing I have is this brass umbrella holder. Look at the designs on that. It is so pretty. And I looked at it. I was going to paint it. When I found it, I thought, oh, I'm going to paint that. But then when I got it out to paint, I thought, you know, that's really pretty. And I don't want to mess up the brass or anything. Um, yeah, the, some of the tag is, it was a collection, but I don't know what collection. It had some numbers, but somebody has, looks like they ripped the tag or tried to take the tag off or something. Anyway, I think that'd be a perfect umbrella, 
umbrella holder. So, one more thing that I have. Now, I went, because I don't know sports at all. Um, I couldn't tell you. I like to do things. I, I like to, well, I used to, not so much anymore, but play baseball. Um, and uh, just basketball. I was the queen of basketball with my children. And we usually, we didn't play like bat, regular basketball or anything like that. But we played like horse and things like that. I was like the bomb. And to this day, I can hit the trash can. And if I'm throwing something, I'll hit the trash can it goes in. So, so you know, I am okay with that. I love to bow. Love it. I'm not good at it. I am always the one with the lowest score. So, I tell everybody the lowest score wins. Yeah, so they don't believe me. But I don't care. I'm not, I'm not that competitive when it comes to that. I just like it. To enjoy myself and just have some fun but I found this here it's at Columbia and I thought wow that'd be a cool backpack or a or something shh hush hush uh, it's I don't, can you see Instead, I'm going to knock over something. It's on the front. Here, let me show you. If you can see that. It's a Columbia. Um, okay, so it's a Columbia. I didn't really... Okay, so this would make a good um, bag to, to take and put stuff in. When I buy it, then I don't have so many sacks, maybe. And so I took, my, took it over to my husband. It has, like, a zipper in front that you can put stuff in it has this velcro here you could like put stuff in and I was so excited about it I was like cool look at all of this the zippered work the zippers work and I say what do you think this is because I want to um, it was only five dollars no it was two dollars and I want to um, use it and he goes what? He said, where'd you find that? I was like, over there. What this is, and I didn't know, but this is a two ball. Let me see. Move my back real fast. A two ball bowling ball bag. You can put your ball, two balls in one ball in each side. Has the divider in it. To, so they don't bang it on each other and chip. And I thought, man, that'd be awesome. It has foam in the bottom for your, for the, the bowling balls to sit in. And yeah, he said, no, you're not, you're not going to use that. You're going to sell it. So I am going to sell this. I need to comp it and see what it is. He's, you know, he's like, you know, they're to, to buy new. They're very expensive. So, um, so, and this is new. I mean, you cannot, I don't think it's ever been used because all the foam in there isn't squished down like when the balls are sitting in them or anything. Um, it has like the cushions in it that don't, that they look like they have never been, you know, this is a brand new thing. So, I'm going to comp this and see how much it is, but I guess this was my best find accidentally. Who knew? Because, you know, I was thinking, thrifting, and he was saying, no, I'm kind of like the duck. I want this for thrifting. You cannot have that for thrifting. I want it for thrifting. No, you're going to sell it for bowling balls. So when he told me that, it's like, oh, it's worth something. Okay. I'll find another thrifting bag. So anyway, I'm going to look that up and, and see what else I can find on it. So anyway, that is my, how long did I go for? Hey, we did it all in 25 minutes. Um, so leave me comments down below. 
Um, if you do want anything, I will put, I don't know when I get these things up because I do have quite a bit of stuff that, hey guys, quiet, shh, shh. They, I have a, um, the big dog, she weighs about 30, probably 40 pounds. She is a rescue dog that had been abused until she was four months when we got her. Her name is Polka Dot because she is Labrador Dalmatian mix and she's got spots. We couldn't decide what to, the black spots. We couldn't decide what to name her. They had her named Hannah at the, at the Humane Society. I was like, I am not having a dog Hannah because my mom had a dog Hannah. And I had bought that for her. So I said, mm -mm, nothing, nope. So she was nameless for a few days, but, um, Anyway, I, one day I was outside with her and said, Polka Dot. So that's her name, Polka Dot, because she has Polka Dots. But she is doing good now. She, um, if Greg r raises his voice a little bit when he gets aggravated at her, because she is a Labrador, so she is very hyper. And um, she, we, we're teaching her, but she you know, being a puppy, she'll be like this for probably another six months to a year of being excitable like this. But she's really a good dog. I have taught her several tricks. She does shake. And when she, when I give her a treat, she shakes. And right now I'm going to have to have a knee replacement this summer. My other knee, I've had one knee done. And I am teaching her now to help me up. So that she, and she stands there and, and lets, lets me lean on her. So she's, she's really a good dog. Very teachable. Very smart. The other one is a cockapoo. She is um, my baby. I've had her since she was a little one. So, but she's older. She's 11. So she doesn't, she's, she was adorable. She's still adorable. She cuddles. She loves to cuddle at night with me. Anyway, that is it for today. And I am going to start listing jewelry on eBay. I will put my um, email address at the in the description as well as my eBay store um, so that you can go over there um, and like and follow me over there. Or follow me. I don't think you like it, but you can follow me over there. I've got one follower. <laughs> so anyway, um, you guys take care and y'all have a good day. And I will see you on the next video and I have to reach to turn it off.